But this phone call was different. It really was. It was uh, you were right. Now, I, uh, yeah, through you, right? Grandpa, told me how it all happened. Um, a young lady uh, who I swear she just met Anne. made the phone call. <laughs> but there she is. Yeah, yeah. stand up, please, stand up. Stand up. No, please stand up. pleasure meeting you because she made a phone call to somebody, a friend of ours, and said that we should have a, a packer, namely me, meet, you know, a young man who was in an accident. And I didn't know what was going on, so I had my schedule was full, but for some reason, and I was about to have a baby, you know, and, and I got four girls, so you know how that was. <laughs> and, I'm thinking, okay, well, what's going on? You know, then Scott Dean called me up. It's an emergency. We really want you to drive there. I said, what's it, Green Bay? No, you got to go all the way to Alberton. I said, oh, you sh really? <laughs> yeah. like, I mean, what, are you sprained his ankle or what? I mean, what's going on here? He just big toe on the bed or post or what? I didn't know. I didn't know. They didn't tell me nothing. So we're driving down there. I did not know what to expect. I really didn't. So I go in this room, and I see a young man who at one point could have been in a, a, a like a, a medical induced coma. It, it, you took, he had two black eyes and he was sitting there and the doctor came over to me and said, he may not know who you are or whatever. I said, oh, don't worry about it. So I go in there and, and obviously, you know, it, it, the scenery is, it's a little dark and people are praying and things of that nature. I just remember having a conversation and I just remember just, Michael looking at me, and I think you were like eight years old, eight or nine, something like that. And I just remember that when I saw that look, it was something I never wanted to end. So to fast forward, when he got well, you know, I invited him to a Packer game, of course. <laughs> so this one, we almost broke the family up. I'm, this is a true story. We almost broke this family up. And I went over to catch him. I need him to come down to the field. No, his skull is too soft. He can't go in the locker room with the guys. Yeah, yeah, I heard him. Rob said, let the kid go. I'll put this one on me. If he gets hurt, you can put my life on it. So now he comes. So Rob basically threw it to me. It was kind of lucky because I'm a defensive player. I dropped a lot of stuff. <laughs> but I caught it and I said, okay, great, we got it. Just go. I don't even think I told y'all where to pick him up. I don't know. So here he is. So Reggie White had a circle and we would all pray at the game. So Michael said, like, what do I do? I'm just sitting here, you know, and then I was nervous, like, who's the kid, who's the kid? I said, just get on in there, and we all held hands, and we prayed, and we walked off the field together, and it was on the front of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. I mean, it was front page, and I was going in the locker room. He sat in my locker. I think that was the first time he saw a grown man naked, though. <laughs> I just felt like he was mine. I really did. I, I just felt like it's a connection. And then, you know, fast forward a little bit, then I end up getting married. And I, I remember the wedding planner. Now, this was funny now. My wedding planner goes, we don't have enough space. Because my wife said, listen, I want these guys, all three of them in the wedding. No! We don't have enough girls to match them, and they're just kids. I said, listen, it's, that's what my wife wants. We gotta make it work. So the wedding plan, no, we don't, we have to match it up, height and all this. And 
So these guys were in my wedding. So I remember, this was, it was hilarious, my grandmother was sitting with some other people in that AARP thing. <laughs> Who, who are the white kids? <laughs> David and Mark now robbed them churn. That's how they talk about South. Oh, hi. <laughs> so they're in the wedding and everything is good. And, and then we stayed in contact and everything was great. It was part of the family. I really felt like he was really my son. And it just seemed like to fast forward when he's a man, I saw him growing up, and I, I say this with all due respect, he's a perfect gentleman. But we have some problems. <laughs> long way, we have some problems, and I've discussed this with Mike. Because Lauren told me she was the only child, by the way. And I didn't know we had two other sisters, one in the wedding party, and he's sitting next to his other daughter. <laughs> but, uh, Michael had this man-to-man -man talk, uh, and this is the kind of talk that you have, that you don't really plan to have, but we had to have it. We had, we had this cage, and it's what every man thinks of is having a perfect life. We had this cage, and the door was open, but there was a few pigeons trying to get in this cage. You let them go by. Just go by. And it was one pigeon kind of hanging around the cage a little bit. And Mike had to learn to just tell his pigeon, have a nice day. <laughs> and when you're in your 20s, you, you don't turn down no pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> just tell them you're honest. <laughs> you just let every bird in the cage, you know. <laughs> tell them you're honest. I'm, I'm sorry, Grandma. <laughs> but, when this cage is open, it was a beautiful dove flying. <laughs> now, this dove was Lauren, of course. And based on her landing, is based on how long you're going to be with her. Now, if she comes in there all hard and lands hard and falls and knocks all the furniture down, she may leave. <laughs> but she comes in nice, cushion, sticks to landing. You shut that cage. <laughs> and then Michael, we had a hard, hard talk. I said, man, listen, you'll find a nice young lady one day. But to find such, and I, 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 so you have to shake the dad's hand when you have a beautiful daughter. So I would have told Mike, thank you for the beautiful dove. Because without her, I don't know how our family would be. Because he, he's really my only, son of this caliber, I really felt bad for him, because we all go through relationships. But to stick a landing like this is like a real live movie. And I remember I first met Lauren. This is how I know it's a great young lady. We was getting to know each other, and throughout the conversation, she started talking about her family. That's a real woman. She didn't get into so much about her, or how much she's, her parents mean a lot to her and her sister and her family. That is a great person. So this beautiful dove has changed our family. And we're just so happy. <laughs> because you would, you, you, you just feel like sometimes you're the lowest to understand there's no low you can get. And that's how me and Michael was in our conversation. But I've never seen him so happy. Because he just wanted somebody like him. And this the first time the check mark didn't have to be a Packer fan. <laughs> <laughs> I tried for years to say, man, find a nice Packer girl. <laughs> but this time I'll give him a pass. <laughs> and I just want to say to Lauren, I mean, she's really, I remember, as a matter of fact, we, they came over and watched one of the Packer games with me. And they came in, you know, my apartment, we were watching the game. And I said, man, she's just like one of the guys, you know? <laughs> it's hard to find a, a young lady that likes everything. You know, cooking, softball, basketball, nursing, 
fireman. I mean, you name it. She likes to do everything. That's all my corner. And when he texts me, do you think I should marry this girl? Duh. <laughs> Dude, close that cage. <laughs> if you get one more pigeon coming there, you're gonna be hard to get that pigeon out. Let this dumb in, slam that door, and you married this woman. So I just want to tell this beautiful dove, thank you for making my boy the happiest man in the world. Thank you so much. And I want to thank everybody for coming tonight. This is something I've dreamed about for a long time. Thank you very much. Just a few moments. What's going to happen is that the bride and groom are going to come around to each table and get a photograph, but it's going to be very quick. <laughs>